Well, I was approached by Screen Rebels to come and speak about the Independent Film Trust, and which is the charity that I run and which supports independent film production in the UK. So I was more than happy to come and talk about what we do because we have a room full of amazing filmmakers here that I feel like we could probably really work with and help. So the charity was actually established about 10 years ago, and it was established by the same team that established the Rain Dance Film Festival. And so we've been helping filmmakers over a number of years and working with our partners, Rain Dance, with a number of other organizations that we work with closely to try and help filmmakers get their projects off the ground and then get them seen, more importantly. Well, I've been working in film for many years, and um, I've always felt really passionately that uh, film is much more than just a commercial enterprise. Film is it's a space where people come together to reflect on who we are as people, and we, we, we see these stories, and we hear the stories, and we engage with them, and we understand a little bit more about humanity and about other people around the world, and it connects us with other cultures and other people and other languages and other ways of living life and I think that's so important and often it can get reduced down to what's going to sell and what's going to get the biggest audience and what's going to get this and I think the uh, there is an important other aspect of film which is that it's about what really moves us as people and that sometimes doesn't get the immediate commercial pickup often it comes a bit later and sometimes it takes a little while to sort of settle in but the really big stories the ones that really touch us are the ones that we really remember Remember, you know, and, and sometimes they are the slightly slow burners, but they're the ones that we remember, and they're the ones that like etch onto our minds. You know, like the ones you really, if you, if, if I, if I say what does British independent film mean to you, like there'll be images that come to your mind of films that really touched you and that really changed your perception on the world. And and I think that at a time where you know the world is quite disjointed and we are quite politically polarized from one another, you know, film is a really important way of connecting with one another. Well, I'm mainly hoping that people find out about what we do and see whether there are people we can help. Because what we're always looking for is filmmakers that have really amazing ideas, but for one reason or another are falling through the net. And that happens all the time in the industry, unfortunately. And we see it from the filmmakers we work with, and we hear about it with, from the filmmakers that we don't have the opportunity to work with. And whether it's at an early stage with, with scripts falling through the net because they don't quite get read by the right people, or people's, you know, they don't have that uncle who works in you know distribution or works in um, like early acquisitions for BBC or Channel 4 you know they don't have that right network at the beginning and so their stuff doesn't quite get seen by exactly the right people and then later on they don't again have that right network to get it distributed to get it seen to get the right PR people involved we need to be there to kind of fill in that gap for a lot of people and get the stories that could have the potential to make people really sit up and really engage and really feel quite differently to make sure that those stories have a chance and an opportunity to do that. We have so much talent, so much talent. I mean, like, you know, just looking in this room, which is a tiny little sample, right? You, you can see people who are writing amazing films. I get scripts through the door all the time, and people are telling me, like, I applied to this, and I sent it to here, and, and it got rejected. And I'm like, this is amazing. Like, this is really good. And sometimes it's that little bit too edgy, or it's that little bit too critical, or it's that, you know, it's really saying something, and actually, we should be a little bit more open to the stories that are really saying something. So the Vertical Lab is about looking at representation. So we're looking at really encouraging people who might be marginalized or might feel disenfranchised by the film industry on the lines of race or gender or socioeconomic background or disability or experience in the criminal justice, criminal justice system and refugee status. We want to encourage people who are experiencing anything, anything that might disengage people, to come forward, send scripts, send uh, send their work, send edited materials and get involved and we take people from every end of the production spectrum so we take writers, journalists, directors, producers, cinematographers, performers, animators, editors, composers and we also take exhibitors and curators and we bring people in to the lab they, they come and join us at the Rain Dance Film Festival which is our fantastic partner we bring people in every day of the lab, we're working with them. Every day of the festival, we're working with people to to make sure that they're meeting the right 
people going to the right events, pursuing paths that could help develop their projects. And then at the end, we give them six months of curated one-to-one -one mentoring to make sure that people are really staying on track and making sure that whatever project they were developing during the festival really gets made or really gets developed. So we're really to like targeting specifically individuals and individual companies and individual talent to make sure that whatever they're trying to work on, whatever brilliant ideas that they have, really get materialized. And we follow them every step of the way to help that process. So the lab's open to early to mid-career filmmakers, which means it could be people who've made a short film, made a few short films, and maybe this is their first feature, or maybe it, they've made a feature film already, and maybe this is like the second feature that they're really struggling because they've got the momentum of the first, but then they're struggling to get the momentum back up for the second. Um, so as people are at that kind of slightly difficult end of the spectrum and we want the purpose really is to engage those people who've got the energy and have got the talent and have got really amazing ideas that are fresh and new and, and really aren't being seen to connect them with people who are much further along the line in the industry, you know, far more developed, and start to get those networks building and start to get like a feedback loop of advice and just sort of general, you know, feedback on scripts and ideas and, and thoughts as to how to navigate this ecosystem. So it's very complex, it's very dis disconnected here in the UK, as you mentioned. We don't have that same structured studio system, so it's slightly, it's more difficult to navigate, and it's so much about who you know. Um, and so we really try and help people navigate that system and, and try and make sure that they're able to do so in a way that's actually going to keep them on track and not get them distracted. So you can find the lab at independentfilmtrust.org forward slash vertical hyphen lab. Or if you just Google vertical lab IFT, you'll find it. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.